Welcome to our tutorial about numeric functions. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at some examples of built-in numeric functions used in Visual Basic. In my example, my text box, called text in, will accept the argument value, pass it through a numeric function, and return, capture, and display it in the label LBL1. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the code to see how we're going to make this happen. You see here, I've declared my variable, SNGIN, as single. This variable accepts value from text box TXT in. The next function in this example, ABS, will accept this value. ABS is a built in function which returns the absolute value of an argument. Next, this value passes through to control label 1. Notice with the text box control, I use dot text, and with the label control, I use dot caption. Now let's run our application. We'll enter an argument value of 10. Our return is the absolute value 10. Let's enter an argument value of minus 10. Click Compute. And again, we have a return value of 10. That's because 10 is the absolute value for 10 and negative 10 as well. If I enter a value of negative 10.5, I get a return value of 10.5. Let's take a look at the next built in function. This is logarithm. By the way, the single quotation that I'm using here distinguishes comments from code. When Visual Basic sees this quotation, it knows that it's not a code line, it's just comments, so Visual Basic doesn't pay attention to that line. Back to our natural logarithm. Let's run the program. I'm going to input a value of 1.3 and press Compute. I get a return value with the natural logarithm of the argument we inputted here. Let's go back to our code. We'll check the next built-in function. Let's compute the argument's tangent value expressed in radians. Let's run the program and input the angle of the radiant as 1.3, press compute. The tangent value expressed in radians is returned. Now let's say we want to calculate of 1 divided by the tangent function. Let's run our program again. Enter a value. Compute. Now we've used the tangent function to calculate the cotangent. Let's take a look at our last built in function example, the square root function. Let's run the application. Let's look for the square root of 36. The result is 6. Let's find the square root of 8. The result is 2.8. Let's try to calculate the square root of minus 8, which of course doesn't exist. I get a runtime error. Let's click End. And this concludes our tutorial on numeric functions.